Hello, welcome everybody to Trade Signals and New Setups using the Person Algo Optimizer in version 16, and as, as well as to go over a few uh, trades and condition of the market as we start to prepare for the monthly unemployment report. Let's take a moment here real quickly to read this important risk disclosure statement. Remember, trading involves risk of loss and past performance is not indicative of future results. Now, uh, with that said, I'd like to just go over quickly our person algo optimizer and a couple ideas of, of how we can use this to your uh, betterment and, and more advan advantage. Basically, an algo optimizer is just going to want to get you into trades that you would normally do or you just didn't see or you you missed entirely. So this morning as we got a breakdown these are white lines in the sand support and you can clearly see that's a PPS sell signal so for those that are using Trade Navigator Genesis or Thinkorswim users that's the five minute sell signal it should be on your screen uh, using those two other uh, applications. This is a specialized entry. It didn't get in on the open. It, it waited for the market to confirm that that sell signal is valid by trading lower. And what did it do? It got out at, again, the blue is the profit target. Red would be the stop loss on this particular uh, trade. And orange, hard to see orange, is uh, right here, is uh, the entry uh, level. Now, here's what's really neat. This particular model gets you out at the profit target and then will trail the stop on the balance and make sure that you don't get uh, turn a winner into a loser and it gets you out at your just a tick better in this case short less than your entry so you're not gonna you know it, it could have done better I get that but what we did in the trade room today was in fact wait for the market to break out above this line in the sand it's a gray line you see it might be hard to see there uh, two reasons a gang um, number one we had what we call the last conditional change resistance that's uh, just posting up uh, the average of the highs we had our specialty volume indicator kick into high gear and this is again a volume indicator in terms of percent change and momentum it's a special indicator it's nothing like ever has been uh, developed or is available and that's why it's proprietary and it's exclusive with our trade station lifetime package this is a momentum indicator and it also turned as you can see positive that's that green line right there we're looking for that positive change when did it happen right there with that high closed doji but in this model, if you're short a trade, it won't reverse and go long until the trade's expired. But when it really kicked into high gear, this is what we actually took in the trade room, not a system trade, was we waited for a close greater than that last conditional change and went long. Now the system, it actually did go long and it is currently long the, uh, the market right now, so it's up some money. So it was able to trade the downside of the market and now the upside of the market. Uh, while it didn't pick the exact low of the day, it didn't pick out the high of the day. Of course, it was in an earlier trade. The point is, I think if we can pay attention to what the indicators are stating and you guys, I think, are trainable. And that's what we specialize in, helping traders to get better and use this information to do what maybe some struggle with. And that's the discipline or overcoming that fear, that mental block from putting trades on. Now I'd like to share with you one other situation that's going on in the gold market. Let's move on to that uh, trade setup. All right, while I was talking about the E-mini S&Ps, this had just fired off and had actually exited the trade on a trailing stop feature function. So gold, it breaks out on a, and it tells you what it is, a high closed doji. It gets out near its profit uh, potential, its uh, blue line in the sand, so to speak. And notice that the market traded through it in order to allow us to get out of the trade. So what does it do? It enters one. It's in two contracts. And uh, just to make sure you can all follow along. And that's what we do generally is just two contracts here. Uh, it gets into two contracts, gets out of one. And what does it do? It trails the stop on the balance not to give it out. So whether gold goes up again or whatever it does, it it, it will help manifest the trades. 
but what's really neat about this is you can enter in along, you know where your stop or your loss is going to be, and you know what your profit target might be on this algo optimizer. So that's gold, and gold's been in a kind of recovery mode over the last couple days. Now, let's take a look at our radar screen and share more with you in regards to a couple other indicators that are very powerful, and I'll show you why we need these in our trading toolbox. All right, we've shared this before, and I know there's all kinds of ways to trade in different time frames and different setups. And one of my favorite is when we look at 60 minutes, just to give you an idea, if we have 60 minute buy and sell signals on uh, high end or high velocity ETFs, whether that would be the uh, leveraged uh, directional ETF or inverse ETFs. So, for example, Let's say we had a sell signal in the semiconductors, the SMH. We could take a look at the SOXL, S-O-X-S. So if we had a sell signal in the semis, and I'll take you up to this real quick, and we're going to go change this symbol. And so let's say, for example, as we talked about at our morning market briefing, if you guys from TradeStation remember, uh, in June, the last time we met, when we got back from our seminar at Seas, what we did is we had a... Uh, I think it was back on June 18th, um, a wonderful uh, insight to look for a, as we were taking advantage of a sell signal in the semis. You guys remember that? Well, here's the SMH, and there's about the what we were looking at for the sell signal. The relative strength, and this is what I wanted to get at, the tools in your toolbox. This is the person market catcher. You guys at Thinkorswim have advantage of using this. It's, a, it's just an incredible tool that alerts us to relative changes in four different ways of the market improving underperform underperforming lagging weakening okay so basically there's four stages and you'll notice there's four colors there's bright blue dark blue there's red and fuchsia all right so fuchsia means improving outperforming lagging weakening and there it is and there's a zero line histogram component and there's some other specialized things like these little dots that you'll see here uh, that mean something. And, and so basically you could kind of see when a stock uh, or a sector ETF is rising and making new highs, but it's weakening against the overall market. It means it's susceptible, vulnerable for a sell-off. Then we want to take a look at our volume indicator. And you can clearly see at the time that the market was weakening. And in fact, in this example, it happened well before the sell signal. You will notice that the volume turned negative. The histogram of the relative strength was still weakening it wasn't uh, didn't go to zero and then i'm going to bring in the on balance volume as a comparative tool many people ask me which tool do you rely more on now since i helped popularize the on balance volume back in 2008 and 2009 when we did a whirlwind tour and and went to a lot of individual investment groups around the country and we went uh with and in fact uh, helped popularize this for traders and on thinkorswim uh way back in the day um it it's been less formidable as a a, a decent tool for me over the last couple of years why I'm not quite sure, but I'm, I'm probably thinking because more people are using maybe options and I just don't have, can't put my finger quite on it yet. But for this video, what I wanted to share with you, I'm getting a lot better readings out of the volume histogram component that we created and the relative strength along with the PPS. So those are the three tools, A, B, and C that I like to really utilize the most. So when you get a sell signal in the SMH, what I was uh, getting to is we can go down to our uh, ETF sector here, our leveraged ETF. And so if you're getting a sell signal in your sector ETF, here is actually we, we lined up the same corresponding day we had that sell signal in the semis, then we should have a corresponding buy signal in the inverse ETF. So when the semis go down, SOXS goes up. So check out this. So here we have a, uh, a buy signal, and that's just not any buy signal. It may be hard to differentiate. It's orange. It's a high closed doji. And you'll notice that the relative strength was improving. So that confirms that the relative strength of the semis to the S&Ps was disimproving. Look at the volume action. Volume had already been accumulating 
before the buy signal. The stock or the, the price of the uh, sector ETF or was moving flat. It wasn't going anywhere, but it was going somewhere with increase in volume. And the on-balance volume doesn't really reflect that. It's flat. It doesn't really show anything. So you can see the value of improved minute changes in the market in terms of percent changes. Also, our momentum histogram, this is another very powerful tool, was starting to show that it was as the price action was making newer lows, it was making relative higher lows. That's called bullish convergence, friends, and that tells us, hey, this thing's on fire and they're starting to accumulate look for upside move and we did get it so i mean there's the trade and that is a very powerful tool now with that lesson in mind using those particular tools let's scroll down many of you probably are wondering what the f do i tweet out every once in a while right and and one of our tweets uh, just today on thursday was to take partial profits on santa fe santa fe advantage don't 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 yell at me if i didn't pronounce it right um for the practical purposes of trading, here's a dynamic situation of how we actually got this trade off to begin with. Look at the tools, and that's what I want you to focus on, and that's what I specialize in, training people how to get the best indicators in their hands that are relevant to today's trades, whether it's a five-minute day trade on the ES or a trade in gold or a trade in inverse ETFs. Look at the relative strength. This is the person market catcher. Is this or not a newer low in the market from point 0.1 to point 0.2? And the answer is that's a bad two. Point 0.1 and point 0.2. And the answer is yes. We have lower lows in closing prices. We have higher lows in the relative strength. Interesting. Look at the volume. A complete bullish convergence pattern. The volume gave us a dynamic difference in opinions, at least highlighting a better job of bullish convergence than the sister or other indicator called on balance volume. You could clearly see there's a better descript uh, visual pattern of a convergence going on here rather than the on balance volume. I mean, it's almost an equal low. It's very, very little. But look at the histogram. It's moving up. We got this high closed doji, and therefore we had a beautiful buy setup in Santa Fe Advantage. So when you see a tweet and I say, get out of half, that I'm getting out of half and I'm trailing a stop, we're getting near a potential profit target. I don't know if this thing's going to go up forever or come close to it or not, but Nice trade all in itself, and that's what we were, were looking at on Santa Fe Advantage. Look at the daily chart on this, too, and it also helps to highlight how the volume indicator, and I'm just going to scroll off to look at the bottom here rather than looking at the whole indicator and bring it into uh, focus. I just want to focus on the bottom action here of both of these volume indicators, all right? So clearly you can see here at the uh, the element, the on balance volume, and I mean, it's it's a little higher, but boy, look at this thing, right? I mean, big difference. And when you look at that, you can clearly say, hey, this thing, something's go magical going on here, right? I mean, really, something magical is going on. There's accumulation of volume. There is not a distribution. And the relative strength is starting to improve. So with that said, we are looking at improved relative strength on this stock. We're looking at inc improved uh, volume accumulation. And so... That was where we got the determination of getting long SNY. So why get out of half? Well, because this is a swing trade, and it's we've been in it a little bit longer than we want, and we're getting near the profit target. But I wanted to just highlight, when you see a tweet from me, what does it really mean? It means that this was a trade we were in with our uh, weekly thoughts and observations newsletter subscription. Uh, this are the trades that we do. We follow up with uh, email alerts. And if you're not familiar with that, may I at least introduce you to the fact that we do have that uh, weekly thoughts and observations newsletter. Um, in addition to that, let me take this moment in time to introduce you to some other things that are going on here. 
first and foremost, we've got a uh, an announcement on November 29th and December 1st for those interested in learning more about my work. Um, we have a specialized training session for a three-day seminar using this person, Algo Optimizer, how to set the settings, how to optimize for the best performance, and for defining how to either auto-execute or manually confirm your execution. So that would be part of what we're dis going to be doing at this three-day select event. We're also going to be going through in-depth training on how to use that PMC indicator plus our PPS indicator which can be found again as I pointed out Thinkorswim and Trade Navigator and along with our advanced volume indicator on TradeStation we're going to do some live trading as always. We're going to be doing futures because in three days it's going to be tough to put on position trades right but we're also going to look at weekly options uh, and how we take advantage of weekly options, what deltas we like to use when we get buy signals on select sector ETFs. So if you get a buy signal on an ETF, do you, uh, could we use the inverse ETF or what ETFs do we use? Number one, how do we filter out volume and liquidity? Volatility options, uh, we're not looking at so much of uh, the, the VIX but we are looking at volatility exchange traded notes like the VXX. So we're going to go through a dynamic amount of professional strategies for traders. And this is something that we've actually incorporated in a fund we've launched here with JPerson Asset Management. So this will be probably um, a one of our uh, most dynamic events that we've ever held only because of the fact that we are using and utilizing these specific uh, algo and quantitative analysis tools such as the person algo optimizer this is the first time we've ever really done this and covered this in depth with the general public so if you're interested in finding more about it you visit our website and go over here to where it says events click on that where it says seminar in Florida and you'll be seeing a little bit more about what we do and you'll be reading exactly what we are going to do more importantly it'll give you uh, a little quick tutorial on TradeStation functions. We're going to cover Thinkorswim. We have to. We're going to be using different uh, programs and platforms. Um, and so, therefore, you can read more about this. I would absolutely encourage you to sign up early because we have a select seating. And we are going to be looking, again, at a lot of these ETFs that I think everyone wants to be positioned for. And hopefully we 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 carry forward into the next few months with that uh, being able to teach people at this point the big move might be not to the upside but maybe just continued sector rotation in addition I wanted to just let everyone know our weekly thoughts and observations what do we do we cover the gamut on everything and I mean the dollar gold uh, different technical tools advanced decline and this is our specialty page that we use with Genesis trade navigator something we uh, helped put together with advanced decline analysis on all of the markets not just the NYSE the New York Stock Exchange composite index and we look at multiple time frames we teach you what the importance is of that other old school tools like the McClellan Oscillator, our old friend, the McClellan Oscillator. Uh, these are some of the things that we cover. And again, this is just for this particular week of the week of, again, coming into this week. A couple things that we were looking for, a scale and entry on Coca-Cola. Aurora Cannabis, so, you know, our, our indicators picked that up and then Pan America Silver. And actually that was an entry at 17.42. And you can see this is the weekly thoughts for 7.2. So you clients out there, you know, we missed this entry by a lousy nine cents. Anyway, ProShares ETF, we scaled into that. We got filled on a greater, higher open on Tuesday. And it's a nice hedge as we move forward in the next few weeks. How are we doing year to date? Well, year to date, we're doing a little bit better right now. As you can see, uh, we're up about 96% right now. And we average more than a trade a week, whether it's uh, longs, shorts, or even options. And I'm only looking at this number right there, gang, right there, stocks only, both long and shorts, not options as well. So I, I think because some people don't trade the options and we got to go with what we go with. We have current open positions here in the OIH. As you can see, it, it tells you exactly what we have. Open positions, GE, we're in on that at a price of around 1337 and then Santa Fe Advantis we're into that since June 19th and at a, a price of 3905 and that's why when you saw the tweet or if you do have or access to my Twitter account 
and I'll go back over that real quick and share with you. Uh, when I put these tweets out, and we'll go right here to the Twitter icon. Uh, happy 5th to all subscribers. Check emails. We're taking half off longs in Santa Fe Advantis, SNY, raising stops on balance. It's up three and a half, uh, almost 3.5% today. That's why we put those tweets out. Check your emails to get the details. Anyway, this is the kind of stuff that we do put out. And again, we put out great analysis as far as what we think might be happening here. Bear Trades formed. Uh, we put that out on June 29th. And boy, that came to fruition, right? Um, so I think you'll find a lot of times we put out more exact information in the market through Twitter, uh, only to keep our uh, clients engaged, number one. And for those that can't be in our live trading room, um, they're up to date as to you know what we're seeing in the marketplace. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we look forward to producing more in the days and weeks to come. Thank you all very much, and don't forget, if you are interested in anything that we talked about today as far as the person algo optimizer as well as the um, incredible event that we're putting on, very powerful seminar that's coming in Florida, go to the main page under event seminar in Florida. If you want to find out more about the algo optimizer then just click on the algo optimizer and, and on that tab right there at the home page i thank you and i hope everyone has a wonderful weekend